he's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Okay, so next up we've got the Prefect's bathroom. I would have expected this part of the story to be nothing more than a cutscene rather than a whole level of gameplay, so let's see what they've done here. <laughs> Oh, are you serious? All three of us are going to bathe together? Oh, boy. Potter, I realize I never thanked you for tipping me off about the dragons. The Prefect's bathroom's not a bad place for a bath. Passwords, Pine Fresh. Yeah, they're seriously going in together. And I know they really wouldn't do anything inappropriate, but having the character selection screen show up before you know what this part of the game is going to be like is still funny. Are you sure only prefects can use this bathroom? Well, it's called that for a reason. Whoa! Oops! Sorry, Harry. Damn it, Ron! It went through that hole! Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Explore a bit until we find it again. Oh shit. Fuck off, Ron. Those were mine. Hey! Over there! Beans! Shut up! How many beans have you got? Not too many more than you do. For fuck's sake. But okay, that's a good hint. I should have noticed the damaged wall between the cauldrons immediately though. Okay, it's going to take a few hits. And why does this game tell me what I'm supposed to do only after I figured it out and started doing it? Seriously, I threw cauldrons all over the place and it didn't say shit, but only after I finally hit the wall and made an obvious hole in it, it decides to tell me some advice that's useless now because I already figured it out myself. Well, that did it. Let's find that egg. In fact, Harry's dialogue told me what to do before the game's official instructions did, which is even more sad. Although, I would have figured it out soon enough anyways, given how obvious it was in retrospect. Let's keep going. We might find a way down to it. Truth be told, I'm slightly embarrassed about the fact that I didn't see the wall immediately, but Ron was being funny, so whatever. Hermione, when you actually listen to what I say and respond with alright, I actually expect that response to be followed by an action. Don't just stand there. Ron is having to help me out instead. He's probably, I don't know, eager to make up for the fact that he bumped the egg out of my arm earlier anyways. See, now the game's instructions come up at a useful time. I didn't know I could do this. Of course, I just fucking missed on my first try, even though I was standing right next to it. Unfortunately, there were other times I missed the game's instructions, and that hurt me. That's my own fault. Ooh, a bean. For Christ's sake, Ron, are you addicted to these or something? They don't even all taste the same. I don't know, maybe there's a heroin bean he's addicted to. That's quite the distance to be throwing these cauldrons. Harry, that's so obvious at this point that why would you even say it? I could understand if you recorded this line of dialogue but only set the game to use it during the first, and maybe even the second level because the player isn't too far into the game and it's not like obtaining beans using Accio was a thing in the previous games, but at this point we should know it by now, so that line should be prevented by the save game file from being used any further once you've completed a few of the earlier objectives. It's not like it's that big of a deal, but it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. I don't know. It just sounds weird. Other than creating a cool looking explosion and dispensing a few more beans, I'm not sure what blowing these up actually accomplishes. Oh, well shit, that answered my question. I got a mini shield out of it. Very nice. Hmm, well, now I'm slightly confused here. This seems like a dead end, but I don't especially recall seeing any other alternative pathways on my way up to this platform. I'm 
surprised I hit the fish from this distance. I think the camera will follow this cauldron, though, so let's see what's further along to my right here. Well, I see another boiler, or whatever it is. Where's my cauldron? There it is. Do I have to be closer to it before it reappears? Shit, I hate not being able to aim higher. It just gradually sinks lower on its own the longer I hold it in midair. Okay, I know what to do now. The large cracks in the pipes blocking a continuing pathway means I have to blow it up. Oh, and more beans, of course. I guess that's a different kind of fish. Even if you're programmed to follow me, you should... The fuck? Anyways, you should be smart enough to stop running long enough to avoid a hazard that cycles on and off. And apparently I can't even get past that waterfall of steaming water even if I get as close to the railway as possible to try and avoid touching it. But for some reason Ron and Hermione took damage from the steam blast, but I still have full health despite potentially getting scalded twice. Fuck did I miss that? At least the shrapnel doesn't hurt you though. I guess I was supposed to use Accio there to get those beans. Cool, another mini shield. Give us a hand here, Ron! Eh, Accio won't work here. The shield doesn't want to leave the edge of that platform, and Ron, I specifically asked you for help, and you actually said, Okay, only to stand around and do nothing. Again! What is it with you guys? First you insist on following me into the bathroom, then you offer help only to stand around like a deer in headlights. Well, that's actually a fantastic idea, Ron. This is what was dumping that waterfall of steaming water that I couldn't get past earlier. Now we'll be able to remove this hazard and continue on. If you guys would hurry up instead of milling around behind me. Okay, mental note, there's another path continuing down from here that we'll need to explore later. And I'm not as confident about where I'm going anymore. I thought this was going to be the pathway we couldn't get past earlier because of the steaming water, but this is completely different. Okay, there's more stuff to do, like wrecking even more of the school's plumbing infrastructure. But I got another mini-shield in the process. Ah, uh, okay. There's the pathway I couldn't get past earlier, so I wasn't too far off. Even Harry, the actual video game character, is getting pissed off by his friend saying okay and then doing nothing. Also, is it really a good idea to go into the school plumbing? Remember what happened in our second year? Oh, god damn it. Well, at least there only seem to be two of them, which is odd because I would have expected them to attack in larger numbers. Yeah, I'm getting a little excited by the number of beans I'm getting from here, too. We've all collected a lot, actually. I should probably revisit the card store, whatever it's called. I don't even remember what the section of that main menu is called for where you buy more cards, and I'm making it sound like it's a trip to Hallmark or something. I guess I'll go through that other pathway I, I unblocked earlier. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not wasting my time on this shit. Time to use magic as extremos and blast these shits into oblivion. Excellent, I think I got them. Are you for real? My power boost just finished wearing off and another swarm of these demonic fuckwagons immediately shows up afterwards. Go fuck yourself. And I'm down to two hit points. Okay, how did I survive that? I better find something to restore my health. Come on, you two. Oh my god, I am so dead. That's it. 
Did I really just survive again? I don't believe it. I, I mean, I'm happy, but I really don't believe it. Uh, man, okay, let's see. Let me double check something. Well, there's something that would boost my health, but it's on the other side of these pipes. There's a cauldron that would allow me to blow my way through said pipes, too, but it's all the way up there. So I have to run up there, pick up the cauldron, drop it on the pipes, and then run all the way back down to the pipes again. I'd better not encounter another swarm of Urklings during this round trip. Could have just done it while I was up here in the first place. I did, didn't think anything of it. I probably should have seen those pipes from the first time I was up here, but I was distracted by other things at the time, so I don't know. I hate doubling back just to do one little thing and wasting time like that. Shit. <sighs> but... Yeah. Okay, ten points, but look, a Triwizard Shield. Oh, for God's sake! At least there's only two of them attacking at the moment, but it might lead to a larger ambush later, again. And I still got through an Urkling attack. I didn't even take a little bit of damage. I truly am the boy who lived. Good thing that Steam Fountain didn't do anything to me just then. And as for that Triwizard Shield, I probably can't get it now because I need to be able to walk or swim through water or whatever the fuck I'm expected to learn in Herbology class. Although I probably don't want to get it right now anyways. After all, I'm looking for that egg and grabbing a Triwizard Shield would end the level prematurely. And I don't want that. Oh hey, the gate closed behind me. But what's a fire pit doing underground amongst the school's water and sewage pipes? Especially if you have boilers already. You don't need this. Oh. Shit, they are. I just extinguished the pit seconds ago, and now it's red hot again. Have the salamanders done that before? Those motherfuckers. I'm gonna die again, and Ron's not too far behind me. I think emitting that ring of fire from their bodies is what's reigniting the fire pits, though. Yep, there he goes. Okay, that's done and over with. Is there anything else left to do here? Oh, I was so close to hitting that thing. I bet I could eventually reach it from here. Yeah, I did. Good for me. Well, maybe when I learn how to deal with water, I'll be able to figure out what that ramp leading down into the sewage water is supposed to be for. Alright, which one of you two is going to help me this time? It's Hermione now. The difference doesn't make, they're just both. You can jinx taps? I didn't even know those were hidden throughout this underground room. I just hit the wrong button by accident while happening to be turned in the right direction. Oh, there's a whole series of drawbridges on our right that we have to pull down. Great. Ah, uh, this is gonna take a while. Again, I'm sure it would go along much more quickly if all three of us did it together. It's like the game is incapable of having three Carpe Retractum spells attached to the same object or something. I need your help. All right. What a ridiculous limitation. Even though I just pulled down a whole bridge into existence, I'm gonna run this way just to get the little health boost over here. Oh god, there's another fire pit down there. Shit. That's even worse now, because they keep reigniting. Otherwise, I wouldn't care, usually, but now, it's just so much worse. Hmm. 
Yep, there it is again. So now that's two places I have to return to to get a shield that I can't reach because none of us can fucking swim ten feet. Yeah, very nice, Ron. And I think in the Hogwarts exterior, blown up walls and pulled down drawbridges were reset every time you came back to do anything else. And since the only thing past the series of four drawbridges is a shield I can't reach yet, that means I just wasted a minute of my time for nothing, because the next time I come back here I'll have to pull them all down again. Oh yeah, I actually see it. Just gotta deal with this shit first. Oh yeah, I forgot I had low health. But really, we just had two of these things spawn so quickly, one after the other? See, now I can't do my old strategy anymore of going for the fire pits first and then dealing with the salamanders. Because I don't think they ever used to reignite the fire pits before. Hey, that was cool. A split second of someone's Aqua Eructo Blast put out the fire pit again pretty much instantly. I guess if you hit it early enough to after it reignites, you can put it out again in the same amount of time. Why the hell would I use Magic as Extremos now? Stupid game. Well, anyways, now we're finally finished. It makes sense to me. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, la, 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 la. I'm gonna do some other shit first, though. Yeah, I knew Ron would say something like that. What? Suddenly all three of us cast Carpe Retractum upon one object? Okay, well that worked out, I guess. So the game is capable of doing that, it just chooses not to most of the time. Oh, for fuck's sake, Harry, you survived a couple rounds of fire salamanders and urklings on low health, but you finally got killed by a bit of steam? Fuck. Although I don't think these blow holes were active when we ran past here the first time, were they? And I just realized, the chocolate frog doesn't technically restore all your health, instead it only gives you 100 hit points. So since Harry has a maximum starting health bar of 120 hit points, it can't be fully refilled by the Chocolate Frog. And why is the camera shaking? Is this place about to explode or something? I think Hermione and Ron are going to die behind me or something. Who knew so much action could happen when three people go into the bathroom together? Yep, there went Hermione. Ron will surely keel over next. Oh, for God's sake! No! Not these walking shits again! I just... And Ron just died, so he's out of action for several critical seconds. Maybe I should have used Magicus Extremos here, but at this point it hardly seems worth it anymore. I just died again. I hope those steam blasts hurt the Urklings too, because if they didn't, then that's bullshit. And since I died right where the steam blasted me, I inevitably got revived there and got hurt all over again, since it never fucking stops. Alright, well it's finally over with. There's more areas to explore in that place? Jeez.